Hello everyone and welcome to the center. Look at this and what timing we've come on in this epic looking storm. You actually get lightning in the center. It looks incredible. I'm very excited to be here. Finally, finally it's come to Xbox. So there's been a lot of hype about this map. Hopefully it's going to revitalize the player base. I think there's been a lot of players maybe who have been taking breaks from the game and not been around, might be might be looking to get back on now. Because getting a whole new map, like a survival game like this, getting a whole new map is just, it's like getting a whole new game because really, the map is what makes it. And so getting an another map, massive game changer. So I think there's going to be a lot of hype for this map. I think a lot of people are going to be playing it. A lot of people are going to be having fun on it. I imagine it's probably very, very hard to, to get onto official service for the center at the moment, but I'm very lucky to have my own dedicated server, so I shall be playing on that. But here we are, I decided to start from scratch. Lammy's going to be joining me in a, in a little while. He'll be coming on later, don't you worry. But for now, I thought I'd start from scratch. I think I'm going to give some of my old players maybe the option to to join, to download their survivor profile, so you can like upload characters on the arc. Ooh, not getting any sound from that, it's a bit strange. Yeah, it all seems fine. You know, let's turn the gamma down a tiny bit. So it's not too glary. You know, very strange. Well, seems to be a little bit buggy maybe. Or maybe I'm just unlucky. There we go, we've got a bit of wood. So I've spawned down in the south jungle here. This is one of the cool areas of the map. My friend Jay is also knocking about somewhere. He's around similar sort of area, so hopefully you might bump into him at some stage. But I thought I'd spawn down here. I'm going to play from scratch, going to go right from the top. I'm going to try and do it a little bit differently to before. I want to try and get a load of dinos that I've not got before. We've got slightly boosted rates on this time. Let me just do this level up. What do we want to go for? Maybe some, I guess health is good early on. And then we'll worry about that in a minute. Yeah, so we've got, I think we're on about times three X. It's about times three everything. Times three harvest, times three XP times three tame speeds so a little bit increased on officials it does make it a little bit easier but um but i think i think you do need that especially because i play on multiple servers so if you're playing on multiple servers and they're all official times ones you're never going to get anything done so to be able to play multiple games you really need to play in booster race oh something's fighting me oh it's a dillo i'm not ready for this okay i really want to get over there that looks epic i really want to build over there maybe maybe we can build up on the top um should we swim away from this dillo we get on. Pretty get eaten by piranhas. Yeah, so I haven't really explored this map at all. I've watched a few videos, just sort of um, seeing generally what the lay of the land is, and had a little bit of a fly around on single player, but I don't know. Like compared to the island, which I've been playing so much, don't really know it at all. It seems to have pretty even distributed resources, so there seems to be metal kind of all over the place, which is cool. I'm not really sure about stuff like pearls and crystal. I haven't really checked out. I remember seeing a little bit. I remember seeing a little bit of crystal knocking about on single player. I haven't seen any pearls yet. Oh, mama! Look at that lightning. Oh, hello. Oh, I can't get drops, can I? I'm a scrubby little level two. Right. Okay. We made it over here without getting any so That's an excellent start. Not getting any tree sounds still, which is uh, nice. Interesting. Well, maybe that's uh, gonna save me a headache. Right, we've got a bit of a, we've got a bit of wood now. What can we make? We haven't actually learnt any engrams yet. Let's get the hatchet. Then can we get a spear? Wonderful. And we might as well grab that. No, we can't. Right, pick. I want to get once I get a spear up, I can defend off uh, Dillos. At the moment, I'm basically defenseless. God, it's been a while since I've done level one. I think I'm just gonna. I want to find like a spot to start building a little, a little starter base today. I think that's kind of my goal. I'm gonna find a nice spot. This certainly looks really nice. Maybe we should have a little bit. Oh God, we're starving. Um, are there any? There's no berry bushes over here. There's a level 120 dodo. Holy shit! Okay, we're gonna uh, we're gonna eat this dodo raw. That's gonna be our first task to keep us from starving. And now I'm gonna go explore these ruins. Cause they look awesome. Thank you, dodo. Do don't mind if I do. Right. Let's grab a bit of flint as well, and we can make a spear, right? And a little bit of bit more thatch and wood. Maybe if I'm don't seem to be getting any of those sound effects. Let's crank that up. Hmm, no. Oh well. Well, I'm sure that would get sorted out. 
maybe it's for the best anyway. Right, where we go. We can make a spear, and we can make a hatchet, and we can make a torch. Wonderful. Probably need a few more spears than that, so I might get a little bit more wood before we venture off. I haven't really got any... <laughs> what have I got? Oh, I have got a few berries I picked up earlier. Fantastic. Fantastic. There we go, that'll keep me going. And we can um, we can pop this raw meat on our hotbar and we'll just munch that, that'd be fine. It does a bit of damage to you, but it gives you health, so that'd be cool. Let's get a little bit of stam, a little bit of carry weight. There we go, look, we're already up to level four. God, how we're progressing, guys. We're gonna be level 85, riding around a giga before we know it. Oh my God, look at this, this is stunning. There's, there's nothing like this on the island at all. Very, very cool. Mm. Could build a little thing inside here, it could be pretty cool. Let's have a bit of a probably explore, explore around. Hey guys. So I guess this is like the easy kind of spawn area, I think. This seems to be that sort of type of dino, like we got dillos, we got trikes, we got carbos. Nothing too crazy. All these really good ruins. Oh, let's go these stairs. Hello. Yeah, so this is, um, was it Jungle South, I think was the spawn. So pretty pretty easy one by the look of it pretty chill if you go up to the north there's um it's a bit more hectic up there i've spawned up there before when i was testing out and there was quite a lot of carnivores around there's the there's a big floating island in the middle which also ooh, crappy level four stamina yeah the floating island also has some carnivores on it i went over there and saw uh, there were some rexes there was quite a good mix actually that middle island looks like it might be pretty op on pvp but I guess there's a way to crack every base if you uh, if you think hard enough and look for the weak spots. Wow, this looks nice. I think do you think that's the middle island over there? I'm a little bit. Have we got map markers on? No, we don't. Hmm. So I'm down in that south southwest corner somewhere. So I'm probably I reckon that's the uh, middle island we're looking at there. I think. And so there should be some. Oh, we can't see back there because the building. Wow, this is really cool. I make, I guess you can just build in here as well. You can just. I imagine you can just slam foundations down. I feel dwarfed. Ah, there we go. Yeah, that's that is the mid. That's the floating island. It's got these kind of broken bits of uh, sort of forks of stone sticking out, and then they lead up to where this big floating island sits in the middle. It's pretty crazy. Maybe we'll try and go over there before we before we end today. But I just want to explore these ruins a little bit and see what's going on. I think they go on. For, I remember seeing a little bit of a video toward the jaded and they really went on for a while this lake looks amazing holy crap oh and there's a spino down there very nice very nice but yeah i think i think i'm going to build vaguely around this area and then maybe once i've got a kind of small mid-sized base i will i'll maybe expand that and okay so this is a bit of a dead end here oh this is interesting oh there's more stairs okay oh this is cool it's lovely down here. So this is actually quite close to the to the middle island sort of side. Let's have another look at our map and see if we can maybe work out where we are. By I guess the ruins aren't going to be too too visible. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we're maybe down in that sort of ninety twenty sort of area. No, we must be on that river. No, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Pass. Maybe I'm on that river that's kind of a the sort of 80 30 kind of area that might be might be right let's run forward a bit and we can see if it clears a bit of new map and then we'll know that might work that sounds very sensible let's go over here let's see if we can see a bit more of that river now mm, can't really tell well fine fine what is this oh this is one of the new dinos the lystrosaurus this just came out with the item with the uh, uh ugh, center map update as well new dino you can use these for they give you an xp boost if you tame them they're a passive tame so you sneak up behind them and shove things in their butt without knocking them out but yeah once you've tamed they're very easy to tame i think they use berries and maybe rare flowers i think it's rare flowers or um or mushrooms i think it's rare flowers though or just berries but yeah once you tame them you can uh, you can actually pet them and then one if i can just tame one now should we try and tame one really quick grab some berries why not and they, uh, you pet them and they give you a, well they give your tames rather, like an XP boost for five minutes. So you pet it and then any very close nearby tames will get, I'm not sure what the percent is, I need to check that. It's quite small, maybe 5%, I'm not sure, look that up. But um, yeah, they get a little bit of an XP boost when you pet your lovely little Lystro. So they're a very cool idea for a tame, it's nice to see Wildcard coming up with all these, oh, what am I being tagged by? What is it? Compare. Just one. 
There's never just one compy. There's three! <laughs> oh dear. Okay, this, this this stick's probably gonna break before I kill these guys. Come on, guys. Oh god, now I'm starving. I'm gonna have to eat raw meat while fighting these guys. They're still not dead. <laughs> there we go, one down. The level 72 is gonna take a few smacks. Oh, the level 72 is gone. Come on, this guy's got to be nearly dead. There he goes. Wonderful. There we go. That level does help a bit. Oh, I had a I had a glimmer of sound effects there. It's a little seems a bit crazy. I might try relogging a second. Maybe that will um that will sort out the sound effects. We'll see. Oh, there's a drop coming down nearby. Or is this? Oh my God! Look at this. It's like um, like cool little glowing things in the air. What is that noise? Is that? Is that the Lystra? Or was that the noise of me starving? Oh, I think that's a new sound effect for starving. Oh, what's that cool noise? It's me slowly dying. Alright, give me some of that lovely raw meat that I'm feasting on. And we'll do another level up. Yeah, I might try and tame that tame that Lystra while we're at it. Okay, maybe... I guess health and stamina over it. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Dillo attack! Uh-oh. Level 112. Oh, okay. This might be it, guys. This might be the first death. <laughs> rip. Rip me. <laughs> we can do it. We can do it. Uh-oh. We can't do it. Run. Uh. There we go. Death one. We lasted 12 minutes? 12 minutes. Not bad. Okay. Oh, I was actually there. Ah, right. Okay. I was thought I was more over in the... <laughs> on the sort of southwest corner, but I was actually around the middle. There we go. Well, now we know. Well, that's quite a nice central location, so I guess it's, um, that'd probably be Snow South, wouldn't it, where I thought it was? That makes a lot more sense. Okay, fine, fine. Jungle South, second attempt. Okay, we are back. We have tried relogging to get sound effects. We still have no sound effects. Well, other than... <laughs> other than the pain of hitting the tree, we have no sound effects, but, you know, that'd be fine. Hey, Lystro, do these... Fun? No, they run! Lee. Oh, there we go, daytime, right. Yeah, so I've told a couple of other people, we're trying to get everyone to kind of vaguely spawn around the same area so we can get little starter bases cropping up and hopefully hopefully bump into each other. Should be nice, because obviously that's the thing you kind of miss. If you're playing like single player or non-dedicated, then it gets a little bit a little bit wrongry and you never uh, you never really bump into anyone else. So it'd be nice to, to be bumping into other people. So hopefully that will happen. Look at this. This is such a cool looking area. I think I might just... Um, I don't know, it depends what dinos around here, I suppose, though. Look at that, that's cool. I think I went over there on my, um... Oh, there's another Dillo! I'm gonna get wrecked by Dillos again. So many Dillos. Give me a break. God, I forgot how, like, early game is so brutal. Just, like, every little thing just absolutely wrecks you. Okay, so we got a... What's that, a blue ob? Up there. Nice little island in the distance. Ooh, a new special music for the center. Oh, no, that's an that's an obby. That's an obby. You're fine. You're okay, mate. God, this is really cool. Ah, hello. There's another little like bridge over there. Ah, interesting. Oh, I think there's like a kind of oasis type thing over here somewhere. Let me go and see if I can find that. It'd be nice to find like a cool high point to build a little base on. It can be a little bit crappy for resources, but um, but they're really good for for getting a nice vantage point, especially in such an Awesome looking map like this. I really want to see see what's knocking about. Oh, crappy low level stam. Level five. Right, we can do it. We can do it. Let's get up high. Guess that's probably a bit ambitious, but um, maybe we can get around here somewhere. Mm. Oh, there's lots of dodos around here. This is good. Good low level stuff. We want dodos because that's going to be kibble for. Pteranodons, oh, Dillo, run, see you later, god, it's just it's getting, getting sketchy in here, hey Parasaur, what's up, maybe I'll even tame a Parasaur this time, that's the kind of, uh, we'll do, we'll tame everything, oh, 116 Carbo, why can't I find that on my PvP server, it'd be a beauty to tame, alright, this looks a bit more interesting here, I, yeah, I'm sure I remember seeing, like, some sort of Oasis type thing, Ooh. get some stamina back, I need to kind of get up there. I'm not sure which way to go. Maybe we should go around this way, I think. And we'll keep grabbing these berries in case we end up in a sort of dry area and we need to uh, nosh some berries to keep ourselves alive. And obviously it just levels you up. 
Oh, hello. Got lots of Tranodons around, which is good. You do often just seem to get those on the coast, I suppose. So that's kind of expected. We're pretty near the water. Oh, hello. Can you get up there? This is pretty nice. I want to find an area we're going to use, I guess, what are the low-level resources we're going to use lots of. We're going to use lots of sort of wood and fiber and thatch and maybe a little bit of stone. I'm not going to worry too much about metal at the moment. I just want to kind of get started and then, oh my god, the stamina. Let's eat some of these berries. We'll check some of you in our hot bar. God, we've got no tools. Nobody even bothered trying after that, uh, that Dillo rampage. Let's go over here see what we've got. This bit looks epic. There's a lot of really cool, like, rocky kind of structures in this map. Very, very nice. It'd be nice if I could find one of these little lakes or pools so I could build near a bit of water. Because obviously water's a right pain in the arse early on. Until you've got, like, water reservoirs or piping set up. And no one can be asked with piping. Oh, hello, look at that. Mm, how do I get up there? Let's go and have a look. Let's go around this way. We'll be fine. Okay, so this bit's pretty nice. We've just come around the corner a little bit and we've found some more ruins, which look like might have quite a nice view. Let's go and see. Oh, it's a little bit obstructed by the trees. Oh, if we can clear those trees, though, look at that. You get a lovely view of the ob. What about this? Is this near that land bridge thing? Oh, hello, trike. How'd you get up there, mate? Hmm, good luck getting down. Oh, stairs. Very nice. Oh, my God. I need to just make, like, a little kind of explorer kit and then just go go out checking out some of these areas because there's so many of these like crazy ruins to walk around I think it's definitely one of the coolest things about this map it also has there's like this giant island shaped like a skull let's see if we can see that that's kind of over on I think it's over on right on this sort of east we haven't um we're quite a long way from that at the moment that's pretty cool it's pretty it's quite like a sort of fancy-esque map or sci-fi it might be fancy I guess because it's like there's a completely floating island there's this giant island shaped like a skull it's a lot more um detached from reality than than the traditional island map. I know the island's got those sort of big you still got the big arcs and obelisk things, but um but it doesn't have any <laughs> any floating land masses. So uh yeah. It's a bit of a bit of a crazy one, but that's fine by me. I can roll with that. Ah and here we go. Here is the Skull Island. It's actually a little bit closer to it than I thought I was. Wow, where are we? Hmm, interesting. Well, I mean, I don't think I'm going to be building there early game. I think that might be a little bit a little bit ambitious. Jesus, it's like a giant flaming Batman head. Maybe that's what it is. Well, we'll come and visit you later, Batman. We'll check that out another time. Ooh, hello. This is a nice view. This might be a nice little little spot to build up here. Looking down over the... That's, so that's the floating island. It's a shame I don't have a spyglass already, so we can't have a... A proper look. But that, that bit you see in the middle there, that's the floating island. Oh my god, it'd be cool to get up there by that tree. Very cool. Lots of nice cliffs. Ah, hello. Hello. Oh, maybe we can... Let's not fall off there. Lots of beavers down there. I want to get down there. I want to build by that lake. That'd be perfect. God, how do I get down? Hmm, well, I can't make a parachute yet. I'm not sure I'd survive a jump into that rather narrow lake. And I'm not really convinced I want to give that a go. Let's have a look and see if we can see... Ooh, glare. Let's see if we can see that on the map. Hmm, yeah, it might be hard to uh, hard to pick out. Right, let's go, and, uh, let's go and have a little look. Ooh, that's actually... I'm just trying to get down to the bottom where that water was. There's actually a ton of crystal metal up there. There's massive crystal nodes. I don't know about if there's any good metal nodes. There's certainly lots of the normal ones. There you go. That's a good one. Oh my god. What? This map is just crazy for resources. <laughs> I don't even... Let's see if we can get past here. Well, that is... This would be a great spot because I could build down by that lake and then I could get like a... If I can get an arge or a flyer I can just pop up here and grab that. Okay, so we're looking down. We can see... The, okay, so we're, we're pretty much due north I guess of the the middle bit. We must be, because we can see the two snow bits off to each side, right? And the black island's kind of smoking off over there. So we must be, I don't know, yeah. We're kind of, and we're kind of quite heavily inland, so we must be around in that, maybe in that little sort of 60-50, that kind of area. God, my uh, <laughs> my sense of direction is very bad today, so who knows, who knows. 
I do definitely want to get down there though. That's going to be this is going to be the tricky bit. Hmm. Well, this. I mean, we're still trying to get down. Do you think this looks traversable? I think we might be able to. Uh, we might be able to edge our way down here. It may be a little bit ambitious. <laughs> I've got not very much health. I'm a very low level. If I can get onto this bit and then stop. There we go. Oh God. The new dehydration noises. I don't. Is this new? Maybe it might be new with the update. It might just be new on the map, but um, they are incredibly disturbing noises. Right, well, we're going to go for it, guys, and see if we can survive this drop. Oh, I think they might kill him. Oh, I died. Rip. I wasn't too far away from where I, where I guessed was. Okay, so it's those three little lakes there. Okay. Well, now I know where I need to head, so that's fine. Okay, it's take three, guys. Where about are we? Okay, so I think I'm actually on the the north bit of that now? Is that the volcano island over there? And I want to go back. Ooh, it's sort of inland. Let's go around here and just double check where we are first. Here we go. I found my way finally to one of these lovely, lovely lakes. Oh, there's a nice, nice ruins that look down on this one. Let's see, I think there's like a cluster of, there were sort of three, weren't there, on the map. Let's have a quick look. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, there's that little group of three or four down there. I'm not really sure which one I'm next to. But um, let's have a little bit of scout around the area and see what we can find. We'll find a nice little spot to um, to chuck down. Because I think it'd be pretty good. Obviously you want to be near a lake so you don't keep dehydrating and hearing that awful, awful sound. There's some nice ruins down there. Bit of bit of nice. And obviously having beavers around is pretty good as well. I really want to tame I tame the beaver. I've never uh, tamed a beaver on this before. So I definitely want to get one of those. They're a bit high level. They're level 55. So it's going to be a little while until I get there. But we are on times 3 XP. So it shouldn't take forever. They're obviously very useful to have nearby as well for their dams. Their dam dams. Which can give you cementing paste and wood. And I think pearls as well you can get in those. Rare flowers. Lots of crazy stuff you can get in beaver dams. They're pretty... um. Pretty damn useful things. Let's see what's over here. Is this going to be more lakes? Oh, no, it's going to be a big drop. I am lit tired. Well, I'm pretty I'm pretty sold on this. You know what, the review? I think that's pretty good for review, right? That's pretty nice. We've got some nice smoke rising in the background from the, from the volcano. You know, why not? I'm sure that's great. Everyone wants a bit of uh, smoke pouring out of a thing in the background. Everyone likes pulling over to, to watch something burn. And you slow down for a car crash. People dig that sort of thing. So, you know, it adds a bit of a bit of ambience, a bit of interest to the area. And we've also got some nice ruins back there. And uh, and the lovely lake full of lovely beavers. Right, yeah, all right. Let's, well, let's, I'll grab some basics and I'll start throwing together some sort of little shack from which I can go to sleep. Because I need a bed, really, before I can uh, log off and call it a day. I need to get a bed down. And maybe even we'll push the boat out and we'll get four walls and the door down. Right, now I think, I think I'm going to get down like a little thatch staging shack maybe, and then, because what I think I want to do is build some sort of thing using pillars right on the edge here, I think could be quite cool, so it looks right out over the water, maybe, maybe even goes out over the water completely. So I might, I might just do a little thatch thing until I've got high enough level to, to get my wooden pillars. So maybe we'll put a little hut tucked in by this rock, and that'll, uh, that'll keep us alive for the time being. So let's see what we can... Oh, have we got some, We've got the end ground points, surely? Who needs armor? Right, we need sleeping bag, because we need that to unlock bed. We need thatch foundation. We need thatch door frame. And door, and can we get bed as well? We can, there we go. And can we get a box? We can get a box. There we go, look at that. Right, that's a lot of useful stuff right there. So let's, um... What do we need? Let's try, try and do a... A single one's probably pushing it. <laughs> let's maybe do a... Let's do a, a four. A four would be good, I think. Okay, one, two. Got one crafted. There we go. Three of those. We want... A door frame. Some walls. Probably that many. And... Some ceilings. We'll see how we get on with all that. Right, so I think I can start chucking these down. You might have noticed we actually seem to have sound effects now, so <laughs> don't know where they came from, 
but they are now working. So that's nice to know. Nice to know. Right, where can we get four of these down on this fairly uneven ground? That's the issue. We might have to just do a little, a little wanna. I don't know. Well, we can try out. They're only thatch, aren't they? I reckon if I put one about here, it'll probably let me snap one here. Yeah. What about here? Beautiful. Perfect. There we go. Yeah, it can be a little. It's quite fiddly in this game trying to uh, get stuff to to snap sometimes. But we've managed to get it just about right there. There we go. That's going to be our door. And then we we'll put these in. It's going to look. Uh, it's going to look pretty much like crap. Stop. You know, that's um, that's low level work. You've got to do your thatch, then you do your wood, then you do your stone, then you do your metal. I didn't want to just come on a power level. Uh, so what, what do I need? Any more fiber to make another? Another level for that. Okay, so how many walls do we need? We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight walls and four ceilings. We've got three roofs. Oh, and another level. Let's go for some. Let's go for some stam this time. Okay, so we just need a bit of fibre, and then we can uh, we can finish it off, which won't be too bad. Right, so I've got my bits to finish off my little crap shack. Let's uh, throw these walls up. I'm going to go double height because then you can uh, put down large storage boxes and stuff like that. So, why not? We'll go big. We'll make it a palace. A lovely thatch palace. And boom. Is that door on the wrong side or they just look the same? No, they just look the same on both sides. Fine. Wow, look at this. This newbie thatch box. Look forward to getting that upgraded. Or, um... I don't know, maybe we'll just leave it like this and we'll just build the new one with uh, with wooden pillars and stuff. Might look a, be a lot nicer rather than bothering with this this last course. There we go, look guys, we've got a safe room. I mean, not that safe. If a carnival runs along and chases me in there, I'm pretty screwed. it just tear it down very, very easily. I've got to make sure I don't anger any of the beavers because they, um, they wouldn't have too much trouble smashing through that. Those guys make dams for fun, yo. Right, so what do I need? I want to make just make a bed. So I need a little bit of hide. And what else do I need? Thatch, fibre, and hide. Okay, well, let's go and do that. That can be a, a, maybe a wooden box. would be a good idea as well, wouldn't it? Then we've got some storage. We've got a bed. And it's happy days. Welcome to the centre. We're good to go. I'm definitely not going to go and attack those beavers. I don't fancy my luck with that. I think I'm going to... Uh, go and find something a little bit more manageable. I did see an ant clo around here, which is cool. I wasn't didn't think there'd be ant clo's around this area, so that's useful. They're very good times, obviously, for metal. And I saw that metal kind of up on the hills. I'm not sure which direction that metal I saw before I uh, fell to my death was, but hopefully we can find that again. We'll get flying as soon as we can. I really want to get a frog as well. They're, they're a nice low-level tame. We've been using them a lot in PvP. They're really good. You only need, I think it's level 25 for the saddle. Very low-level saddle for considering how good they are. They're quick tames, because even on default sinners, they're quick tames. So they're really, really good. They're really good for getting about. They can get into awkward spots, because they can jump. You can get away from people easily if you need to, or away from dinos. Do recommend. Very useful. There we go. We've got a wooden box. What do we need? A little bit of thatch, and then some hide. Okay, we can get the thatch here. And we just need to go and kill something. That's got to be enough thatch, right? There it is. Right. Fine. Right, what are we going to stab, guys? Let's find something stabbable. We've got to make sure we find our way back to our uh, our terrible little hut as well. I can see a steg, a couple of stegs. I'm not going to try and stab a steg. I could make it... Oh, no, that's a beaver. Are you an angry beaver? No, you're a, you're a chill beaver. Fine. God, we need to get our bearings a bit. I'm going to keep getting lost on this map so much. The brand new map. Oh, dehydrated. Oh, that's fine, I've got lots of bearings. Nom, 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 nom. Keep him going. Come on, just give me something like a, a Dillo or a, a Fiomia, maybe. Parasaur would be perfect. Mm. Oh, what's that noise? It's raining! Ah, oh, look at that. Not dehydrated anymore, are we? Oh my god, this bit is crazy. Oh. Ah! So good. Oh, I want it to be nighttime. Apparently, these storms look very, very cool at nighttime. That's what I want to see. Oh, nice! It's cool that I'm right amongst all these ruins. There don't seem to be any animals I can stab around here, but it is nice to be near all this very, very cool-looking stuff. It's kind of tempting to go up there. I know I'll probably end up just falling to my death again. Well, should we do it? I think we should. We should check out the cool new shit. Shouldn't we? Let's go up here and have a little look. We'll see what we can see. 
we'll bump into something to stab. Ah, okay. Oh, I think I know where I am a little bit better now. I recognise this river. This looks familiar, right? I think. <laughs> I think it's cool. Look cool, bro. There's nothing down there. Why is there nothing down there? I need to get down there and do some stabbing, really. Hopefully there'll be some... Um, some Ooh, God. Okay, hopefully there'll be some steps going down from this thing. Most of these ruins seem to have, like, little... Little staircases that go down to new sections and down to the ground somewhere, so... Not sure we're going to make any kind of uh, ambitious jump to there. Ah, here we go. Might be able to get through here. Get down to that water. There's got to be something down to that water, right? Oh my god, finally, there we go. I've been running around for so long trying to find something to stab. I don't know whether it's because this is a fresh service or only if you see to show in the top. No, it only shows you on the dead screen, I guess. But um, we're on... I think day three, I literally just turned it on, the update came out last night, turned the server on overnight, and here we are, day three in-game. Day three. So maybe stuff hasn't spawned in properly yet, we'll see, we'll see. Hello, level 16, right, we'll get some stamina, and then we'll give this guy a good stabbing. A little bit to eat, right. Let's do it. We can chase this. Oh my god, what luck. Oh, I should have made it. I've got one spare. I've got one spare. Oh, run into, a, run into a rock. Run into a rock. I don't have much stam. I can't chase you forever. Oh, low level problems. He's outrunning me. I'm, I am quite encumbered as well. Maybe I need to drop something. God, I do, don't I? Right, and then we'll, we'll give chase again. Let's drop this rock. There we go. Much quicker. <laughs> god. Right, he's got to run in something they always do. They're never good at running away. Oh god, dehydrated. Oh, he's coming back. Right, there we go, look at this. There we go. Oh my god, right. Okay. Oh, we can craft another one. Wonderful, there we go, fine. Right, there we go. Not getting out of there. As long as my, my spears stop breaking, we should be fine. We should get quite a bit of hide from this guy as well. They're really good for hide. Bloody hell, three spears are to me for a low-level parasaur. There we go, what do we need? 40 hide for the bed? There we go, that's 40. What am I missing now though? Oh, fibre. I used fibre for making my, um, my, my hat that I'm wearing at the moment. No armour, just a hat. So, you know, that's how I roll. Okay, we go, we'll grab some fibre. I think we're actually really near the... the base. Oh god, where did I see it? I think it was over this direction. Ah, hello, right, here's the lake. Is this my lake? It is, it is. I'm just on the other side of it. Look at that. I didn't get lost for too long. We can have a drink, get rid of that horrific noise. I'm going to slam this bed down in our room. Let's make that bed. I'm going to slam this bed down in our little shack. Hey, beaver. Are you angry when you go near him? No. Hey, guy, aren't you cute? Don't kill me. They hit pretty hard. Very nice. I think I'm quite a long way from the swamp. That might be the only downside up here. It's a bit of a trek to the swamp for cementing paste. But once I've got a frog, you can you can get out of the map pretty quick. And then they can carry a ton of it. Because cementing paste is very, very light. Oh, go on, I'm tired. I can make it. There we go. Look. We did it, guys. We finally did it. There we go. Bed. Box. Chuck them down. Let's get that nicely in the corner. And nice little sideboard to put me drink on and me lamp. Stick me book in there. God, what have I got me? Mostly crap? Mostly crap. Let's chuck all this vaguely useful stuff in. And that. The rest of that was all going to go off while I'm, uh, while I'm logged out. But there we go. I think that's uh, that's a nice little stopping point. That's that's a nice little day one on Ark. We've got, we got a little shack up. we got a bed. we got a storage box. We had a pretty... Pretty nice little look around this jungle, south jungle area. Ooh, if we can get on this rock, we can have a slightly better look around. And there we go. Very nice. Very pleased with this map. It makes it a lot more interesting. It's getting a little. I found it getting a little bit old for me playing PVE on Ark on the old map. So it's very, very nice, very welcoming to have this lovely new map. That is going to um, that is going to really kick me up the arse and get me playing PVE again, hopefully. It'll also be very interesting to see what people do with, with PvP on this server, but um, well, with this map, rather. So we shall see. Should be interesting. See what happens. A long way to go. I imagine there'll be lots of changes. Probably some bug fixes. And we'll see. 
All right, well, thanks for joining us, everyone. I really appreciate you spending some time to watch it. If you want to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, then that really helps us out and lets us know that you are enjoying the content. So do that if you want to do that. Nice one. All right, well, my name's Ben. We are the Beard Guys, and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.